for reproduction and the topic is number 4.7 plant reproduction okay the sub topic I'm gonna discuss further in this video is about the structure and the function in plants and also pollination process all plants with flowers are reproducing sexually it means they have the female and the male parts of the flower so these reproductive organs in the male and the female are producing the reproductive cells called gametes the reproductive organs of a flowering plant is the flower itself the male parts of the flower is called stamen while the female parts of the flower is called pistil in the male parts or we call it stamen it has two specific parts the first is called anther and the second is called filament in the female parts of a flower or we call it pistil it has three main parts the first part is called stigma the second is style and the third part is called ovary in addition to that it has ovule inside the ovary other than the male and the female parts a flower also has additional parts that also play an important role the additional parts are the petals and sepal the function of an anther is to produce male gamete to store them and release them when it is matured And filament is a stalk-like structure that holds the anther in the flower. Stigma is the landing zone for the male gamete or the pollen. Stigma itself plays a very important role in the flowering plant reproduction. Stigma covers with hairs or flaps or others to increase the ability to trap pollen. Most stigma are covered with a waxy and sticky substance on the surface. The function of style, it's a stalk-like structure that holds the stigma. It connects the stigma to the ovary parts of the flower. It provides the medium for the pollen tubes to grow and for the sperm from the pollen to travel inside the tube to get to the ovule inside the ovary of the plant. The function of ovary is a place to produce the female gamete of the plants or we call it ovule. Ovary is the structure that will develop into a fruit after fertilization happens. Ovary also a structure that protects the seed inside the fruit. Ovule is the female gamete of a plant. The ovule will eventually develop into a seed inside the fruit after fertilization. Now let's talk about pollination. Pollination is a process of transferring a matured pollen from the anther to the stigma of the flower. It's a process that is responsible to open the door for the male gamete from the anther to meet the female gamete, the ovule, inside the ovary in a flower. There are two ways for pollination to happen. The first one is called self-pollination and the second way is called cross-pollination. There are two possibilities for self-pollination to happen. The first one is the pollen from enter will travel to the stigma of different flower in the same plant or the pollen will travel to the stigma of the same flower in the same plant however in cross pollination the pollen from enter from one plant will travel 
far to the other plant and stick to the stigma on that other plant that is cross pollination so when we talk about pollination there is one other aspect to be discussed about which is called pollinating agent so the role of a pollinating agent is to carry the pollen from enter to stigma of a flower there are two types of pollinating agent the first one is animal and insects and the second one is wind example of pollinating agent from the category of insects or animals are hummingbirds bees and ants these animals collect nectars from flower to flowers it moves from one flower to another flower while they are doing their work the pollen grains will stick to their body and when they reach to another flower by any chance fall on the stigma of another flower and that is how the pollination happens and for the wind factor of pollination so when the wind blows the pollen from the matured pollen from enter will fly in the air with the wind and land on stigma on any flowers the advantage of cross pollination is it combines the genetic materials from two different plants of the same species and this will cause the new daughter plant to become a better quality plant for example it could have higher resistance towards pests and diseases it could also become a healthier plant which can adapt to the changes in the environment also when the cross pollination happen we could have variety of plants and also variety of good seeds now let's talk about agriculture industries from the advantage of cross pollination in malaysia agriculture industry we are producing better crop with higher quality products for example we are now having hybrid types palm oil tenera tenera is a cross product from pisifera and dura palm oil species these hybrid products could produce more fruit and flesh and it also has thinner shell the next one we also have hybrid papaya exotica it is the cross breed between subang 6 and sunrise solo papaya this hybrid papaya plants has sweeter fruit and more flesh the next one we have hybrid corn plant masmadu it is crossbreed between mexico and taiwan sweet corn this hybrid corn plant has a sweeter and bigger fruit it also has higher resistance toward diseases and drought the next one is Malinja, the hybrid paddy plant. It is the crossbreed between CM29 and Pear B5. This hybrid paddy plant can be harvested more than one time a year. Besides that, the paddy also ripe faster. That is all about plant reproductive parts and pollination for this video. I hope you can understand my explanation and take care. Hashtag stay home, stay safe, study at home. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and have a nice day.